Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to United Pops. Uh, my name is Josh. Went to Target last night. Um, so I wanted to, you know, probably know why. Danny Phantom. But didn't get Danny Phantom, but I will show you guys last night. And we went to Target and Walmart today. Uh, Target today, 30 minutes away from where I live. Sorry, something was up, was bugging me. Um, because the Target where I live said, Danny Phantom's there. So did I get him? No, well, you know. <laughs> So last night, uh, my son talked me to getting this for him. He said, Dad, if you buy me this shirt, I'll let you have the pop. He knows I love Wolverine, so I'm a sucker because, like I said, I love Wolverine. So I got the Wolverine pop there. He got the shirt, which is cool. I wish they made the shirt, you know, my size. Oh, well, they don't. Uh, then I picked up Marty and Future Outfit. Then we picked up something from uh, the Target Con. A couple things last night from the Target Con. First, we got Doug Flocked from the Remix. And then my wife and I both got Disneyland Resort 65th Anniversary Limited Edition T-shirts. I believe these T-shirts were the con shirts. Uh, my wife opened up hers. Um, Peyton or Jake, if you want to go to the bathroom and get it, I can show it off on uh, no the lower bathroom. Peyton, you go get it. His, I'll go right, that looks like it. Because she opened up hers, I'm going to wait to open up mine. And the funny thing is, guys, we went to Disneyland two years ago. Yeah, 2018, two years ago, and it wasn't their 65th anniversary, and, well, no, actually, I think it was, but it wasn't the resort's 65th anniversary, so this will be fun when we go to Disney World next year to our Disney <laughs> shirt. <laughs> I'll have to buy a Disney World shirt when I get there, but I think for the first day, I'll wear a Disneyland shirt. Dad, it's not in there? No. Should have been in the there. Alright, so I guess I'm opening this up so you guys can see the shirt better. Well, I, my wife did have it on. I don't think she took it off. Let's see. It's okay. That's why I have it. I'm not a real big fan of anything white, but white socks, you know, shirts. They just get dirt, dirty too quickly, but still... I need like a shirt for their uh, 65th anniversary line, guys. So I like it, and they had it in my size. Surprisingly, they had it in double X. So that was yesterday's uh, haul. Um, so I'll show you what I got from Target today. We got some Target Con stuff again, and did we get Danny Phantom? Because it said it was there. That's the whole reason why I went to this Target. So I'll show you what my son got first. He got the Pixar remix Aliens, the, the Dark uh, remix as Buzz Lightyear. I'm not going to do the glow stuff right now. Um, it's not Target Con though. It's, is it not? Target. I thought, oh, it's, oh, it's the other thing that was Target Con. It was the, um, the two from Target Tuck and oh, Roll. That we almost got. That we almost got. Oh, you put it in there backwards. <laughs> so only at Target. That's right. This one was not the Target Con one. He almost got Tuck and Roll. He, uh, he almost got the uh, Con Pikachu, except for this box was really damaged. Smashed on the front, smashed the back, smashed on one side. If I probably looked on the bottom, because the top was okay, but I bet if I looked at the bottom, it's probably going to be smashed down there. Uh, the only thing I don't like with this uh, pops, you can't see the pops in this box. As long as the box looks okay, you should think that the uh, pops will look okay too. But I've seen people open the perfectly nice box. But the pop is, uh, box is damaged. And this is the t shirt. Which I already wore. And it looks awesome. It says the chosen ones, because, you know, the claw chooses you. The claw. So, that's his. Um, I love Donald Duck, guys. Uh, this is not a Target Con one. I just love Donald Duck. This was there. My wife knows I love Donald Duck. As you can see on the back, it's the trains. So now I'm going to have to collect the train set. 
I think the Dumbo it shows on back up here was the uh, Funko shop. I'm going to have to go on a whatnot and get that. Um, now if I see train stuff for Disneyland 65th anniversary, I'm going to go to Hot Topic or Box Lunch or Walmart or Target. I'm going to have to buy it because um. my wife set me up for that one. But uh, I had it in my hands. And I said, why, Donald? Why you got to do it? Because I wasn't really going to get it. My wife took them out of the hands and put them in the cart for me. This is the only one left. That's the only place I've seen it was at this Target. And, guys, it stripped right there. But if I get the rest of the stuff... This is definitely going to be an out of box thing because they're uh, trains. So even if I get one like train thing hook up to, it's coming out of the box right away. We'll be in the back of the videos. All right, guys, uh, big X Men fan, like in uh, comic books, an even bigger Wolverine fan, and they had Wolverine there today at this Target. Just the regular Wolverine in the X Men suit from the first X Men movie, I believe. And if I look on the back. Yep, Wolverine from X-Men. So I love Wolverine. I had to get him. So he'll go up there. I got to buy pop protectors. I haven't put these. I have more over there. But I didn't want to stack them all up without pop protectors over here. And this, guy, this is pretty heavy. This is a Target Con. This is the Jean Grey Glow in the Dark from uh, X-Men The Last Stand. Like I said, see, it tells all these ones they tell you which one they're from. So this is from X-Men The Last Stand. Like I said, my wife wanted to get the whole set. I saw the uh, regular Mystique at Target today. But I have the metallic one, and the metallic one looks way much better. So I need Nightcrawler, Storm, Magneto, which I saw they get, and Professor X. Um, you know, at the same time, you kind of want to have a budget and save money for uh, important things like rent, food, all that other stuff, gas bills so i heard the glow on her though is really sick hey guys that's it from target they did not have the danny phantom i was disappointed i so 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 disappointed because they said it was there i asked the clerk they checked the back nada all right guys so we'll see what we got from walmart today and i'm excited for what i got at walmart um uh, first i gotta show you what my wife got at walmart She's an Edward Scissorhands fan, so she got Edward Scissorhands. I should have grabbed my coke. My throat is getting dry. Oh, no. So I'm going to have to cup a cup of water here. Uh, make sure that's water. It's soap. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well. <sighs> water is better for you anyways. So um, I don't think she saw the dinosaur head because it says with dinosaur shrub, then... Um, she saw a Walmart exclusive one where he has like made paper machés because it doesn't show that on the back here. I'm not a big fan of Edward Scissorhands and because she threw the uh, doll in for me, I got this for her without look. I got a good uh, top because all the tops were like smashed, but I didn't check the bottom. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell or not with the light beaming up. Maybe right there, I think you can see the crease on the bottom. Jake, here, thank you out of the way. Um, yeah, right there. Ugh. But how many people go, oh, let me look at your pops. And the first thing they check is the bottom, right? <laughs> I got nowhere to put him right now. He's just an unusual size pop. Um, he's like the, uh, my wife's Jim Lee, uh, Catwoman that she has. All right, guys. And now, the stuff I'm excited for. So... I ran over because what I saw at Walmart, and it wasn't for this. <laughs> <laughs> but this is Doc in the futuristic 2015 outfit. Um, they had to just dock these because, guys, there was a whole row full of just Doc Browns. And um, no, I said, I said Browns. So more than just this one, guys. So you know what's coming next, I hope. And I've seen a lot of people post this on Facebook. And I want him so bad. And this Walmart had him. And it's funny because he's not on the Funko app until I scanned him. But I do not like where they put the Walmart sticker. They put it right in front of Einstein. So you can't see Einstein that well. Einstein. So it's Doc with Einstein. I will not take him out because I'll tell you why in here just a minute. But there you go. 
But no, I'm not going to get him oh. signed, Peyton, from uh, Zobi. It would be cool. And if I did, he'd have him say, Great Scott. <laughs> Zobi does but not guys, this her. is the one that I was teased and I wanted and I wanted and I wanted. That I was looking for. Like I said, that's why I said Doc Brown. They just put these on the shelves, guys. There where they put it, it was full of just t-shirts and there's only one size though XL uh, I'm good uh, to wear it once but after that I have to wear it before my wife washes it because after that it just shrinks a little and I get a little bummed out um, so yeah we're gonna open them up right now and look at the t-shirt that at least I'm gonna wear once um, I look they had no double XL no small I mean I mean they just had to adjust stock these because that whole bin was full of the 2015 docs the docs with Einstein's, and these. I didn't check the Tandy Con Pops there because no. there was nothing I wanted from the con from Walmart. Anyways, this was even better. My wife saw the Edward Scissorhands, yes. so yes. I'm going to see if this gets into the Funko shop like the Emmett Brown did because he's not in there, guys. He's not on the Funko app. I don't understand. And so I scanned him, all of a sudden he was there. So but I thought I'd before I'd, I'd just try to scan this one in there. But they couldn't read the barcode. I don't think it does that anyways from these. Trust yeah. me, they also had a bunch of bips, uh Marty and Puppy uh vest, Doc with helmet and Marty with glasses. Yeah, they but they had a whole thing guys. of just the Doc Browns and the futuristic outfits and the Doc with Einsteins. So cause I did one after I scanned Doc in, I did look for Marty. Could not find him. So maybe if I scan him in it'll do the same thing. Because he could not find Doc. Uh, like I said, I don't think it just scans in from uh, from this barcode. Because I know it scans in from this barcode, which is why I like using the Funko app better, especially because I have over 500 pops. Because <laughs> I have over 500 pops, so I just use the Funko app. Because it'll be a pain in the butt to uh, do all 500. It's just easier to scan them in. So my wife gets the t-shirt. Because it won't fit me. But like I said, at least I get to wear it once. So we'll take see what it looks like. That's the t-shirt. One of my wife. The second tour at once. And that means I got a complete set. Well, sort of. There's a con one, but I'm not going to get it because it wasn't at all in the movie where he's glowing green. I oh. didn't like it. So I don't know what wave this is, guys. Like two or three. So not counting that one. I got the uh, complete set because I'm not going to count that one. He never was turning radioactive colors. One. So he's in the futuristic jacket with the... Uh, I guess they couldn't get Nike to release the license to have him have uh, Nike shoes. I want him on the original hoverboard. And there you go. That's what's on the back of the set. They don't show the exclusives. Um, so I have all of them, including the Con one. And. Scan in. Nope. That's weird that Doc would scan in, even though he's not there, and this one will not. Um. Oh well, <laughs> not not much I can do. So I guess I go to Pop Price Guide and see if he has a price. I think that doc was like twenty something dollars with Einstein. But there he is again. So guys, so to have a complete set, that means I do an unboxing review. Um, I have an Ant Man one to do, and I have a Back to the Future one to do. So I don't know which one I'm going to do first. And you I might do Ant Man be first because. That's the one I finished first before uh, before Back to the Future. I almost have a Ghostbuster complete one. I just need the Burn Stay Puff. And I decided not to get the Funko Library Ghosts because, like Slimer from uh, Walmart, she's just translucent. And it's just a little bit more clear, and it's not really worth, I think, getting. Uh, but, guys, if you have a black light, shine the black light at night on your Slimer. If you have that only at Walmart exclusive Slimer, he turns blue. 
<laughs> he turns blue and it's pretty neat. Uh, it made me laugh because it also made me think of the cartoon from the real Ghostbusters. So guys, I hope you liked this video. That was, uh, I think that was everything I pulled today. Um, you still need to let me know if you guys want me to do a video Thursday of the stuff that's coming from Hot Topic. So if you want me to do a video of that when it comes in, uh, let me know. Or if you uh, want me to wait till all the, if I don't hear anything by Thursday, I'm not going to do a video on a Thursday. I'm just going to wait till uh, all the con pops get here. So, um, I got Nightwing, which will have a con sticker, and Jiminy Cricket, but... Captain Crook and Dum Dum Drum, I think it's going to have a shared sticker because I didn't get lucky with Michelangelo, Jack in the Box, Tearaway Face Clown, and my son's Mewtwo. So I went 0 for 4 there. I'd have a film make 0 for 2 on that one. Ugh. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down too if you want to. I don't care. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscription button. And like I said, leave a comment in the comments below. Let me know if you want uh, me to see on... What? What? I what? said notification bell. Oh, that's right. Duh. <laughs> I'm really tired, guys. I need to get some sleep. I start work. Uh, well, it's just a five-hour, half-hour shift tonight. I picked up a shift, so it's from 11.30 to 5. Um, so, yeah, hit the subscription bell if you have it. Ding. Uh, the no, uh, subscription bell. Whatever. Notification bells, I meant to say. Subscription bell. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> now I'm not, just can't stop talking. So, yeah, hit the noti uh, notification bell. Make sure you send that subscription. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, and a comment about the, uh, if I want me to open the hot topics once I get it, or if I should wait till I get the comp pops. And if I don't hear anything, I'm just going to wait till I get the comp pops. And I'll review Ant-Man and the Wasp on Thursday instead. <sighs> My dork kids. I know you can see their thumbs up in the background. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. You enjoy your uh, Tuesday and have a great day.